Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest forecast sending into this new week. Well, yesterday we had highs ranging anywhere from 70s to 90s across the area. Of course, we had rain yesterday as well. This does not include any rain that occurred before, uh, uh, by midnight or after midnight uh, today. But just to give you an idea of what we had from yesterday, over an inch in Topeka and Manhattan. We could still use the rain, though, in some spots. And here's where the 24-hour rainfall totals have been. And everyone, almost everyone, got at least a quarter inch worth of rainfall with a heavy of the rain in the blue and purple, of course, to peak over towards Manhattan and down towards Council Grove. That's the area that received more of the rainfall across the WIW View area. As I mentioned, we could still use some more rain for Topeka and Emporia, and we'll get um, at least some at times over the next couple of days. A little bit higher probability towards the end of the weekend for the holiday weekend. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Meanwhile, tornado reports from yesterday, even though there was a possible touchdown, at least according to radar, in southwestern Shawnee County, it was not officially reported yet. Yet. It's still possible that if National Weather Service goes out to survey the damage, that uh, there will be a tornado report in the WIBW View area. But most of the tornadoes were, of course, down in Oklahoma and in uh, central Kansas. That's around the Russell County area from uh, yesterday. Of course, uh, several hail and wind reports. It's actually included 100 mile per hour wind gusts in uh, Salina, but a little bit closer to home though, 76 mile per hour wind gusts in Emporia, 70 in Oskaloosa and Wilsley, and 60 miles per hour in Dover. Uh, hail reports, there weren't a whole lot in the WWV area. It's the ping pong ball size hail, mainly out uh, in portions of Ottawa and Dickinson County outside of our view and area and really didn't get a whole lot, at least reported, in northeast Kansas about quarter size hail in Eskridge. That's about the best I could find in the WIBW view and area. Meanwhile, temperatures today, low to mid 80s. I can't rule out storms at times uh, for today. But uh, that slight risk that you see up along the Nebraska Kansas border, that's mainly going to be for tonight uh, with a hail and wind threat. We'll hold on to the marginal risk, even across the area, possibly even early this morning. And then we increase our risk for tomorrow with that slight risk of severe weather, even in the enhanced risk. Uh, east of Highway 75 in extreme northeast Kansas. No severe weather expected on Wednesday. But rain is a possibility in fact over the next couple of days there's a lot of uncertainty and low confidence on how it's all going to play out with our storm risks over the next couple of days this model wants to indicate storms developing at times through the morning and then drying out by the afternoon even getting into some sun and some isolated uh, activities possible this afternoon but almost nothing as far as tonight's concerned all of it really stays well up to the north up in nebraska for tonight according to this model and then not much going on tomorrow either with this particular computer model and then as far as our other computer models concerned here, showing some activity developing by the afternoon. So a little bit uh, different from Topeka over towards Kansas City in the afternoon and even into the evening hours. And then a little bit better chance of those storms extending all the way down towards the Kansas border overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And this is where that slight risk up along Highway 36 and our north and western communities exists. It's because of this. So... We'll keep an eye on it. And then as far as the afternoon is concerned, mainly being just to the east of our viewing area uh, before the storms really start getting going in Missouri. And then this model also indicates some activity Wednesday morning, but by the afternoon, it does dry out with plenty of sun. So over the next three days, I do expect very low probabilities of showers and thunderstorms. It won't be like what we had last night with how widespread the rain will be. Don't expect that. I expect maybe a little bit of sun at times over the next couple of days. I'll keep an eye on Wednesday to see if I have to put in a rain chance in, especially for the morning hours. But right now, I'm not thinking that we will have rain during the day for Wednesday or Thursday, but then increasing again Friday through Sunday. Monday for Memorial Day, dry. And looking at our extended outlooks, the probability of weather the normal conditions in all three of our time frames, but because it's darker in the three to four week outlook, that's where the higher probability does exist. And almost is in line with the June precipitation probability. This was uh, issued last week, but I wanted to show it to you. I didn't get a chance to show it on Friday. What are the normal conditions expected for eastern Kansas? Whether it's good or bad news, depending on where you are, it's certainly something that will uh, have to, it just depends on who you are, whether or not that's good news or not. 
Of course, this is subject to change, too, with uh, the Climate Prediction Center updating their outlook at the end of the month. So we'll have a new forecast for June 1st and see if it changes at all. And then probability of above average temperatures. Meanwhile, temperatures for the next eight days, of course, are going to be on the warm side, 70s and 80s. Could even be close to 90, especially tomorrow. And then lows a little bit all over the place from near 70 uh, or around 70 tonight to low 50s uh, over the next couple of nights and then back in the low 60s towards the end of the weekend weekend. So a lot going on there. Have a great day. Stay weather aware, especially over the next couple of days. It won't be like what we had last night, and uh, especially with the possible tornado risk, but it is certainly something that we'll keep an eye on. Have a great day.